We're here at the Design in Daba because we're supporting a program called the Imagine Creatives that is at the Expo floor. And what we do, we enable young designers to come and showcase here to exhibit and show what they do. It's a huge opportunity to actually be here and it actually has an awakened people's understanding of the fabrics and the fact that it can be an everyday thing that you wear. It doesn't have to be, the fabrics don't have to be worn on only on certain occasions like when it's your traditional occasions or weddings. You can actually wear the fabrics every day. The support that we've gotten to actually to have a stand which we didn't have to pay for, to actually get like a little bit of a seat to buy material for the travelling, those things actually helped us a lot. We've actually been able to get people to know about the brand, what we are about and the kind of clothing that we produce. At the aim after this is to actually get the product in people's hands basically. We want people to have the the items in the wardrobe. We want people to start wearing it. We want people to start having their own stories when they wear the product. There's a lot of famous artists here and I'm, I'm getting contacts with people and I'm exposing myself and, and this idea that I came up with, this creative way of, of, of ceramic design and I, I feel that I'm really pushing it because the response that I'm getting here is that people are amazed by it because it's not being seen. So it makes me feel good, it makes me feel that I'm on the right track. My plan forward is to collaborate with other artists as well and then incorporate my, my technique with them and then work with different mediums. But my primary medium would be clay. But I think as a business, I'd really like to, I'd really like to teach throwing because I believe that it's, it's something that's dying out and there's a lack of master pottery around. So I'd like to teach as well and run my business at the same time. It's a big deal because you get to meet like a lot of different people. You're exposed to different artists, you're exposed to people in industry. Like you just get like a whole variety of people who comment on what they see, what your work, do they like it, do they not like it. And so far the response that I've gotten is like really awesome. People are really interested in what I'm doing and they want to see more of it. You know, I've had requests of can we have this in this way and that way, you know. So it also makes you as a creative want to expand in the things that you're doing someone who is like emerging and not known and trying to get and break into industry how I got into it is that I applied for it and I got chosen amongst like 39 other people so they chose 40 people to come and represent themselves at Design and Double so this is basically just the Emerging Creators program. Joe for Homework is basically an initiative that I came about to show what Jobic is, you know, from how I experienced Johannesburg. It's probably one of the better platforms to be showcasing at, especially as an emerging creative or someone that doesn't really have the, the funds or the possibility to get their name out there quite big and quite quickly. Designing Java, I mean, it's filled with all the best of the design industry. Everyone's walking past, everyone's asking questions, and the last two days alone have been, day and a half only, has been so incredible. I've met so many people, so many contacts, people that are interested, and also people who come and critique my work and tell me what they really like about it. It's definitely marketing me like better than I could have ever done it myself, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, just it's grown my business almost overnight, it feels like. Uh, and it's given me the confidence as a business to take it more seriously. Like, it's always something that I wanted to do, but the second that Designing Java happened, it's given me the confidence to, to back it and stand behind it and uh, grow my business from this point. Today, I'm here to basically launch my um, table, which is called the F-Table. Um, it's a development design being inspired by the linear dining table, which is in one of my ranges that I designed. Um, being an emerging creative has um, basically given me so much exposure and um, within the emerging creatives I was uh, under the mentorship program so um, they choose actually eight people to go under the mentorship program so I was one of them and through my process 
I actually developed that, the, the F-Table. Oh, being here at Design Dub is, is a huge privilege and it's just, it's a massive platform and kickstart, I guess, you know, to be exposed to many different other businesses and just the business side of, of the creativity and, and where it goes. And um, yeah, I've made a lot of connections already and we look forward to seeing where those go. Um, the whole jeweler thing started when I was in grade seven and I wanted to become a jeweler after spending some time in a workshop. Um, I started at DUT in Durban and at the end of the diploma, I decided to do the BTEC the BTEC degree and during the BTEC degree I decided that I wanted to make knives because I'd learned all these hand skills from jewelry and knew that it could be adjusted to doing other things and so I went into knife making and along the way I was gently persuaded to change direction and go more towards jewelry and that's how I ended up going more into wrought iron jewelry but I've always had a thing for knives and a passion for it so I kept with it. we as a department hope to achieve in the long future is to also create a venture capital fund that will assist the student that after being through this process they will take their products further by developing more prototypes and yeah and taking it further business-wise. The creative industries are very important in driving creative change because what we've seen over the past number of years is that they do add value to the economy and they contribute a great deal to the GDP of the country.